How's it going, YouTube? Today I got a new QSP knife. It's the Swordfish QS149-C1. Made in China. Look at the box real quick. Comes with a little specs card. Like that. And they do about the same stickers every time. Sometimes they're different colors. A little foam insert box. Not a whole lot to it. Box is nice and sturdy. And here's the knife. Got a very good looking brown burlap micarta. Doesn't have a whole lot of texture, but it's not bad either. I'd say it's about middle of the road micarta. Flipper tab. Off thumb studs also. As you see, we got a Warncliffe blade 3.6 inches it's 14 c 28 in and it's stone washed with a flat grind kind of reminds me of a penguin on steroids <laughs> this knife's retail for $70.50 at least this version they have, a, they have it in green micarta, stonewashed or black blade. This comes with a stonewashed black blade, and they got a black and red G10. It's a dollar cheaper. And one other color. I want to say it's green and black G10. I'm not positive though. Blade stock on this knife is 2.8 millimeters or 0.11. So it's it's not bad. It comes down fairly thin behind the edge, but it's not a full flat grind, so it'll widen up pretty thick, feels like. Got a little bit of jimping up here on the blade. It's definitely a full size knife. I can get my whole hand on it. 8.12 inches, 8.12 inches. Let's go ahead and do the size comparisons. CJRB, what was this called again? Riff? Maybe it's called the Riff. And the Kaiser Cobalt. Um, the QSP is a little bit smaller than both of these, but it's really, really close. Pretty much about the same size. Tucson TS380. And the Petrified Fish Scholar. Again, I think it's a little bit smaller than both of these, but close enough that it wouldn't matter much. You got a 4.5 inch handle. It is 0.48 inches wide. The clothes width in the pocket right here. 1.52 you got T6 body screws the T8 pivot and you do have a reversible deep carry wire clip check out the texture you can definitely tell this is burlap and as you see this is a button lock they did have a QSP Osprey. I think it was Osprey. There was a button lock. I think it had D2 steel, so it wasn't very popular. So this is their second one, officially, I think. You do have inset liners. I'm not going to spine whack the knife, because I don't like whacking off. But... We'll show you the walk up. 
does look like it has a solid lockup. And there's no button stick or so minimal that it feels like there's none. I think they get a good job on the button lock mechanism. It's a little bit smaller than other button locks, it seems like. Yeah, it's got a little circle in it. Yep. You got flat scales, but there's, um, what am I trying to say? Chamfered. Yeah, they chamfered the sods off. Had a brain fart. Of course, I went with my Carta. I like my Carta better than G10. I think the G10 one looks kind of ugly, honestly, because it's black and then red behind it. I think it has circles on it, too. Do have a lanyard hole and a backspacer. I didn't notice this till now, but the backspacer does not match. It is a solid black, probably G10. I don't know why they did that. They could have matched it up. Let's go over my dislikes of this knife. QSP always does a bad sharpening tool. It's just like in their DNA. They can't get over it. They just love messing up everybody's sharpening. But this is probably the best one I've seen. Man. Why is being annoying? Zoom in. Still can't see it well. You do, it looks like you would have a couple sharp rings on this one if you don't lay back the, ang the edge. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. It's not already smiling, but it's getting close. Oops, a daisy. And another, of course I don't like T6s. The logo isn't too big, I'm alright with that. Yeah, I think I'm about alright with everything else. Price isn't too bad. Yep. Good, good looking knife, full size knife, comfortable. Came pretty sharp. So I'll link it down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, give me a like and a comment and see you in the next one.